Before we begin I want to tell you guys this fanfiction is left unfinished. Author of this fanfic left story at 130 chapter. This is one of the best One Piece fanfics I know. If you guys want to read it in advance you guys can read it on web novel website or app. Let's start the story. Chapter 1. Wa. Yu Wei. Sounds of wailing could be heard from the voice of a child. A midwife held up a newborn yet her face was that of a deer frozen before headlights. Demon. She yells as she inadvertently drops the child onto the floor and runs out of the room. The tired mother looks down in fear and panic as she tries to form words but fails to. Her frail and weak body shuddering as she hears her child cry, looking at her, it was a miracle she even survived till birth, let alone from the agony of childbirth. Mm my Kai child, she groans as she flips from the bed and falls to the cold hard floor. Wa, Yuweg, the sounds of crying only increase as blood flows from out the child's head. The woman drags her body over the floor, using all her might to reach her child. No mother could possibly remain calm while her own child wails in pain. After two minutes she finally reaches her destination. Her thin arms wrap around the bleeding child as she brings him to her chest while leaning on the bedpost. She tries to calm the child as a certain green glow envelops him in her bosom. T this. She utters in confusion. Her confusion is instantly forgotten as the child seems to heal from said green glow and she herself also seems to regain some of her energy. Not questioning the miracle, the mother smiles as she stares into her beloved child's crimson eyes. You will surely grow up to be a handsome child, she claims as she studies her child's curious gaze. Child's paw, you will surely grow up to be a handsome child, the beautiful yet frail looking woman says as she looks at me with a loving gaze. Handsome. Do all parents say this upon the birth of their child? I mean like seriously, just how handsome can a fat pile of parasitic potato be? I question in my mind recalling how I ended up here. Dash. Welcome human minus 347 ZJ 3827 GTP 00 PAKA Damien Fister, a mechanical voice says. You have been chosen among billion souls to reincarnate within a random universe. The Supreme God, Nanabane Sama, has blessed you to alleviate his boredom and gifted you with certain perks. It continues. Quote dot 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 dot. Huh. That is all I can say as I look around and see myself in a white room with a talking bird mounted upon an oak tree. World chosen. One piece. Gifts shall be introduced by the age of seven as the Lord has decreed. Good luck human minus 347 ZJ 3827 GTP OOP. It states once more. Quote dot dot dot. Huh. Dash 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 And now here I am, supposedly in one piece, reborn into another life. Well, my previous life wasn't that fun, so to say. How did I die, you ask? Well, I killed myself of course. Why? You ask. Why not? I mean, I no longer had a purpose to serve. How can one live without a purpose? Isn't death just a better conclusion? I was four when my entire family, me included, got into an accident. Well, that's what they called it anyway. I mean, when a rich young master with a belly filled with booze and chicks on both sides ends up on the driving seat and gets into an altercation, what else could it be but an accident? A bit of hush money is all it took for his father, the mayor, to buy off the authorities and pass it off as said, accident. Luckily for them, only a four-year-old made it out alive. And the rich father just, sponsored, my future into an orphanage, passing off as the, good guy. They even buried my family in unmarked graves, forgotten from history itself. Little did they know, I, was born with an eidetic memory and recalled everything. I was ready to end myself by the age of nine after I spent five years realizing that I just couldn't do anything to bring justice to my family, legally anyway. The law was against me. If granting my family justice was considered illegal, then so be it. That day, at the age of nine, I came to the conclusion. Fine, I'll do it myself. So by the age of sixteen I used my intelligence and persistence to learn how to build explosives like any other sane person would in my situation. 
I recalled my toddler sister's cry as she died slowly due to a large metal beam protruding out of her stomach. All the while I was stuck as my seatbelt was jammed. My naive arms too weak to do anything about it. My parents died from the impact, after all. They took the momentum of an SUV going 220 km per hour against a sedan going 60 km per hour. So yeah, I walked into the young master's wedding and blew everyone up, including me. I mean I could have easily made it a remote-controlled bomb but eh, who cares? I don't have anything to live for anyway so I chose against it. At least I had a flashy funeral. Dash. So yeah, there you have it. Now I am looking at my new mother as she weakly stands and washes my body. She had beautiful white hair and purple eyes, though her body was extremely malnourished. A. N. Mommy dearest image. Another thing I noticed while being washed was that my mother seemed to groan in pain a little every time she touched the still water within the bowl. Yet her gentle smile never left her face. I then look around and find a cracked mirror on the wall and see myself. Unlike my mother. My eyes were crimson and my hair was even odder. My mother had bright white hair, while I had black hair. Though that wasn't all, it seemed like my hair on the left side was mixed with red strands. It was rather odd, well, it's hard to process as my hair was quite short, I mean, I am a newborn. As for facial features, I look like a chubby pile of fat flesh. What else do you expect from a child? Beautiful nose bridge, Adonis-shaped eyes, glorious ears and lips like a passing river. Lol this ain't a wusha my friends, I look like any baby with cool eyes and hair. That's all. Speaking of features, that bitch, she called me a demon, and dropped me on the floor like weak old homework. Seems like my mother has a healing type devil fruit but has no clue how it works and ended up using it through desperation. If it weren't for that, I would have died before I could even take my first shit. My mother finished cleaning me up as a rather rude person barges into the room without in consideration for the people within. Like seriously, can't you guys knock first? It's almost as annoying as your dad flicking the light on at 6am to wake you up for school. A burly man with white hair charges in and starts yelling. Nadia, Ilin told me about him. Give it to me, give me the demon. My mother scowls and brings me into her bosom, wrapping me with her thin yet warm arms. I will not give you my child. Demon. Just because his hair and eyes are different from our tribe does not mean he is a demon, she yells back. It was quite impressive seeing a frail, five foot tall woman glaring at a burly, nine feet tall man. Mothers are quite scary when you threaten their child. You. How dare you protect that demon? If you don't hand him over then I will exile you from our tribe, he shoots back. Now hand him over. He yells as four other white-haired men blast in and surround my mother. Why you are going to force me to hand over my own child, Larone, Nadia roars as she takes steps back to the corner of the room. Grab the kid, that is all the man says as his minions walk forward with menacing glares. Nadia scowls once more as three of them hold her and the other grabs the child from her hands. Stop, give me back my child. She yells furiously as tears fall down her face. Demons don't deserve to live, Lerone says as he grabs me by the back of my neck. Wah! I inadvertently start crying. This damn weak body, stop. Nadia's face warped in fury as she heard my cry. She yelled once more as some sort of pressure rages forth. Immediately all the men in the room have their eyes roll back to their heads as they fall to the ground, unconscious. My mother rushes forwards and grabs me before I hit the ground. She looks down with a loving gaze, dry tears stuck to her face, it's alright, little Damien. Mother will always protect you. She then walks out of the room with a sea of unconscious bodies all around. Everyone else outside seems to have been knocked out by my mother's cry. My mom is badass, is the only thing on my mind as I fall asleep in her warm embrace. Chapter 2 Within a small wooden shack, a rather beautiful, white-haired woman could be seen feeding a seven-year-old some porridge-like food. Though her beauty was rather shrouded due to her malnourished body, the child was quite tall for his tender age, though his crimson eyes carried the gaze of someone quite mature. His hair had grown a bit, rather messy black hair with red strands on the left side of his head. A. N. His future look, decrease it to 7 Y. O. He was quite cute as certain aunties would put it. Eratilda Eratilda, the child, Damien, 
was sitting upon a wooden table, sadness visible in his gaze as he saw his mother's condition. Mom's body is growing weaker by the day, if it weren't for her fruit, she would have passed long ago. I conclude, say, ah, she smiles as she brings a spoon to my mouth. I am more than old enough to eat by myself, mom, I said, though complying with her request. Hush now, no matter how old you become, you will always be my little baby. She replies with a smile as she gently feeds me with the spoon. Feeling a bit embarrassed I do as told. After all the only woman a man should openly obey is the one that birthed him. While munching on my food I can't help but think, mom has to hunt and cook for both of us, but 90% of what she finds is eaten by me, and she doesn't take no for an answer. I had tried to hunt once on my own but she found out and I was given a 4 hour lecture. But the worst part was when she started to cry. The one thing that breaks a man is when he sees his own mother cry. So I put an end to it. System, tell me more about my mother's condition. I asked the voice that came in my head last night. A screen pops up within my mind. Dash, Nadia Von Daisy, age, 32, height, 5 feet, status, very ill, malnourished, devil fruit, human human fruit, model dryad, mythical zone, complications detected. Fruit rating. 6 stars. Abilities. Conqueror's hockey, awakened stage, raw, uncontrolled. Can be used in times of desperation. A. N. Check the aux chapters for more info on power scaling and hockey levels. Dash. Mythical model. Dryad. An incredibly rare fruit that gives the user the ability to become a dryad. User will also have a healthy and strong body. All illnesses and viruses will be destroyed immediately. Gives the user ability to heal all wounds and also gives user the ability to control nature and communicate with it. Complications. Due to sickness prior to fruit consumption and being eaten during pregnancy, certain complications have emerged. Dash. So that's the fruit A. Eh? Wait. Complications. System. Tell me more about the complications please. I ask in my mind. Children in the womb naturally need nutrients to survive. They get said nutrients through the umbilical cord when the mother herself eats. When, host's mother was pregnant, she most likely would have eaten the devil fruit out of desperation, not knowing what it was. Though it is accepted that only one can wield a specific power at a certain time, it seems certain complications can occur in rare cases. After host's mother ate the fruit, the devil energy stored within seemed to have partially divided and was absorbed by both mother and child. Though your mother gained some of the abilities, she did not gain all of it, causing complications. After going over the answer I ask once again, so what exactly can she do? Host's mother can heal others but not herself as the illness counteracts any natural energy injected into her. If anything, she should have died long ago. She can also influence nature, but cannot transform into her zone form. The remaining abilities were either lost or transferred to host. That explains why the trees and plants tend to be so easy to find when looking for shelter and food. I say but grow confused at the next part. Transferred to me. Display my stats then. Dash. Ina D. Damien. A. N. Ina meaning. Bold warrior. While Damien means. The one who subdues. A. N. Pronunciation. Ina D. Dami I H N. Age. 7. Height. 5 feet 3. Status. Slightly malnourished. Devil fruit. Error. Dash. Due to certain rare conditions, host has gained abilities from a devil fruit. Abilities are the following. Disease immunity, rapid regeneration, increased vitality, enhanced senses, nature talk. Ina D. Right. Mom said she gave me dad's surname so that our bloodline is not forgotten. I slowly went through the remaining information. Damn. Wait so. What? I was born with a super soldier serum or something. Hmm. This nature talk is interesting. I nodded. Crap. Devil fruit means curse of the sea. Wait wait. I can swim. Yeah. I can. I literally bathe in the lake without any problem. In an attempt to clear host's confusion, host should know that the curse of the sea was absorbed into host's mother, thus the host can rest assured. Sweet. So that also means I can get another devil fruit with this. I exclaim in excitement, wait, system, is my mom dying because I ended up taking some of her powers? I question with trepidation, indeed, quote dot 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 quote, 
Though the system can conclude that in 999,998 999,999th cases, host's mother would willingly agree to such a condition to ensure your safe birth. It said in a mechanical voice to soothe my mind. Quote dot 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 dot. I guess you're right. TCH. I still feel quite guilty but I guess it is what it is. I sigh with a sad smile. What's wrong honey? Are you not feeling okay? I was knocked out of my reverie as my mother called me with a sweet smile. The following night, it was past midnight when my eyes blasted open. I looked around and ended up smelling something due to my enhanced senses. It smelled like alcohol and oil. I focused my senses outside and heard leaves blowing and branches breaking. Certain whispers were also slightly audible. Quote dot dot dot. The demon lives here. Quote dot dot dot. They should be asleep by now. Quote dot dot dot. Are you sure we should do this, Lerone? Quote dot dot dot. Shut up and light the fire. I could hear over 60 people but I focused on certain voices I could recall from my day of birth. After connecting the dots I jumped up and shook my mother awake. Mom, wake up. I gave a strong whisper. Quote dot dot dot. Hum, what's wrong dear? You need to go poa poa. She asked, half awake. Mom, we need to leave now. The tribesmen are here, I yelled out through a whisper. Quote dot dot dot, what? Nadia jolted up. She walked to the door and looked outside through a creek in the wall and saw sixty or so men with torches standing around the small wooden house. Mom, let's go from the back door, I offered. The wooden house was backed up by a rather steep cliff so there were no threats from the back. Nadia furrowed her brows, she may be a single mother but she hunted her own food and provided for her child all alone for seven years. She was very strong-willed. She walked into a perilous forest, filled with dangerous animals while carrying a newborn, and would certainly do anything to protect her beloved child. Unfortunately, even though she awakened, conqueror's hockey, while trying to oppose her fate and weakness, it is not to the point where she can control it, especially with her illness acting up at most times. She walked over and looked into my eyes. Honey, she says, mom will always love you. She continues and gives a very sweet and gentle smile as her eyes glisten with tears. No, mom, please don't, we can make it together, I yell as I guess her next actions. She smiles once more and kisses my forehead. She wraps her arms around me and whispers gently into my ears. Dot dot dot, I remain frozen after hearing her words as I see her stand with difficulty and pick up the sword near the door. She gives me one last smile and opens the door and walks out. A wave of pressure erupts and sounds of men groaning is heard as a clangs of metal echo in the creeping night. All the while a young, seven-year-old youth climbs the cliff behind with mindless eyes. Dash, in the dark forest, you can see a child running without end. Damien runs and runs. Damien paw, my legs ache, my arms ache, my heart aches the most though. Once again, it happened again. Everyone left me again. Why, 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 am I destined for despair in this life as well? Will I be all alone again? I recall my past, remembering the faces of all my parents and sister. Their smiles, their laughs, their faces. And then their deaths. I tried to be happy, I tried to live once more. I gave it a shot again. And it broke apart all over again. Dash. After running for an hour I finally stop and hide within a large broken bark of an oak tree. Sounds of running are heard as fifteen or so men race in my direction. My legs are extremely sore, as if they are about to fall off. But is there a point in running anymore? What happens if I get away? I get to live, live for what though? I question myself once again as I did in my past life until I hear my mother's voice before I left the house. Dash. Quote question mark 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 dot question mark question mark question mark question mark dot quote quote question mark 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 quote dash mom's voice echoed in my ears before she went outside to slow down the tribesmen she died I know she did. They told me. The plants, the trees, the grass. They even lead me here. My eyes then shine a red glint as I calm down from my previous thoughts and start thinking things through. My mom is not gone. 
she is with me. I look forwards and see nothing but wood. The open bark I hid within had somehow closed, grown back to hide me away. Nature itself was protecting me. Mom is protecting me. My powers. My mom's powers. It was not a mistake or a rare occurrence, the transfer of power was my mom subconsciously using her will to protect me. She carried me within her for nine months then cared for me and loved me for another seven years. I cannot just give up, I mustn't. I extend my hearing as I listen to the mob around the area. He should be here somewhere. Look around, the demon should be nearby. Chief, the trail ends here. The tribesmen outside continue on their search yet all they see is a sea of trees within a moist forest. My crimson eyes glow bright as my mind clicks on. I will live on. I will reach the apex of this world. To the point where all others will kneel before me. Even if I have to burn everything in my way to get there. Chapter 3 The following morning, the voices of the trees wake me up and ensure that the coast is clear. I take a deep breath and remember my mother's words to keep me going. Though I had resolved myself to reach the top, it just isn't that simple. The world of One Piece is fraught with dangers and absurdly powerful individuals. I then hear a voice in my head. Congratulations host, you have been deemed worthy of the system quest. Hmm, what does that even mean? I ask. After the system awakened, it was seen that host had become complacent with his second chance. The host was given a task by the Supreme Lord but the system was asked to hide it, waiting to bestow it if the host was ready. That condition has now been met. Why hide it? The Supreme One believes that unless one truly commits to a cause, then and only then can they ever hope to accomplish it. The Lord himself was forced on a quest by his own father which has scarred the Lord ever since. This also went to show when the first host selected died before fulfilling the quest. My eyebrows furrow a bit as I ask with some hesitation, someone else came to this world. Indeed, another host was selected long ago but ended up failing near the end by betrayal. The original host though hoped to save this world and petitioned the Lord to send another host, that being you. Thus the Lord gave you time to gather the resolve yourself that aligns with the quest and sent me as your guide. Quote dot dot dot, I see, so what's the quest, I ask, the quest, path to power, has been bestowed upon host. Following its words, a blue screen appearing in my head, dash dash dash, path to power, quest given by the supreme lord, Nanabane Sama, specifically for you. You are to overthrow the powers of this world and reach the apex of all beings belonging to this realm. This cannot be done alone you are to gather a total of seven to stand beside you. Seven there shall be, no more, no less. Upon completion, you shall be granted a grand reward. Time limit. For as long as your resolve remains. Penalty. You will forever be destined to a life of the weak and end up being used by the strong. Final remarks. You have your goal. The path to power is long and arduous. Gather those you can rely upon for the chaotic seas before you. The system shall aid you, but you must hold the conviction to reach the apex. Good luck, child. Dash dash. Reading over the quest one can't help but sigh lightly. I had decided to no longer be the one who is stepped on simply due to weakness. And now that has become my purpose. What's with the seven there shall be? What's wrong with having more or fewer hands to help me with my task? I ask the system. Host should stop applying logic upon the supreme. Lord Nanabane Sama was the seventh one of the nine supreme beings. He alone survived the road to supremacy. The number seven, though it may be illogical, will grant host many powers some consider to be unnatural. This includes things like luck and fate. But in reality, the truth is that those with power can do whatever they wish, no matter how petty and absurd it may be. Ha, ah, yeah whatever, I shake my head in resignation. Well now that I have the final goal, I need to set the journey. I conclude, after thinking for a while, I reach a resolution. I shall train till I am 12 to 13-ish on this island, preparing my body and perhaps eating a devil fruit. Afterward, I shall sail out to wherever the sea takes me. Finished with my thoughts I question out loud, it's just you and me now. Do you have a name? System is unnamed, the host can bestow a name upon me. Host this, host that. Just call me Damien. Affirmative. Damien. As for your name, wait, are you male or female? Either work, Damien. Well, in that case, 
You shall be a female. As for your name, how about Eve? I offer. Please Damien, do not insult me with such a primitive and stereotypical name. She rejects immediately. Whoa okay, sheesh, I just remember reading about it in a fanfic. Well, how about Siri? I ask her, please do not insult me further by granting the name of the primitive AI from that abomination you humans call an iPhone. Quote dot dot dot, I suppose I too would find that offensive. All right, what about, Sibyl, from Sibylla, meaning, prophetess, in Greek. Opening square bracket dot 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 closing square bracket. Please refer to me as Sybil from now on, Damien. Ha ah, good, it's nice to have you by my side, Sybil. I say with a smile. Likewise, Damien, A. N. There won't be a super sassy, Yandere, or future waifu system. It's more or less to help him keep calm in times of darkness and loneliness, after all, isolation is the root cause for despair. Sybil, tell me more about what you can do. I can display yours and anyone else's statistics based on certain algorithms by accessing the Book of Man. Knowing that this is one piece, can you display power levels and skills and whatnot? I ask her, indeed, I have altered the layout for you. Show me my stats then, I tell her. Coming up, dash, I na d, Damien, age, 7, height, 5 feet 3, status, slightly malnourished, strength, Paradise Pirate, level 2, Damien approximately equals buggy, I'll add this little thing for reference. Devil Fruit. None. Skills. Disease Immunity. Rapid Regeneration, I. Increased Vitality. Enhanced Senses. Nature Talk, I. Dash. Hum. So the error was removed and the complications became skills. Nice. I nod. Indeed, since the curse of the sea does not affect you, it does not count as a devil fruit. What about the power scaling? How does it work? I ask her as I glance back to the strength part. I have scaled the world's fighters based on your memory of the world. The levels are as follows. Paradise Pirate, level 1 to 5, to Yonko Crew Apprentice Pirate, to Yonko Crew Pirate, to Quasi Yonko Commander, to Yonko Commander, low mid high top tiers, to Quasi Yonko, to Yonko, low mid high top tiers, and finally beyond Yonko. A. N. Check Ox Chapters for more info. I also scaled some One Piece characters on the scale as a reference. That is quite a lot, well I guess the journey has just begun. Alright, what else you got for me? I ask her, hmm, I can store inanimate objects into the inventory, I can save all locations you have been to in the map. I can also display available quests and missions found in the quest log and also further give access to a shop. Sybil concludes, whoa, nice, tell me more about quests. I ask her, essentially put you can gain system points to buy objects to help you on your journey. These objects are only linked to this world's store. So no Sharingan bloodline or Senzu beans. A. N. I don't intend to overly focus on the store. It's more for incentives like healing solutions, log poses, and support type things. Maybe skills but that later on. Interesting. Well can I pick my quests or is there more to it? The quests are basic and pre-written. Usually awarded after surpassing strength stages. The harder the quest, the better the rewards. Can you list a few for reference? I ask Sybil. Sure. A screen pops up to my face. Dash. Quest log. Strength index. Reach Paradise Pirate level 1 half, 3, 4 fifths rewards. 500 check mark, 700 check mark, 1400, 1900 in system points. Dash. Hockey Index, Learn the Color of Observations, Rewards, Dash, Other, Create Your Own Crew, Rewards, Blessed Crew Gift Pack, Path to Power, Reach the Peak with a Crew of 7 Rewards, Reach Yonko Commander Phase, Rewards, Fishmen Bloodline, Grow Gills to Breathe Underwater, Fruit Users May Survive Underwater but Will Not Be Able to Move, Reach the Peak of the Yonko, Commander Phase, Rewards, Underwater maneuverability, skill. Dash. Eat a devil fruit. Rewards. 3000 SP. Seastone pendant helps to slowly build immunity to seastone. Breath your first breathe. Rewards. Beginner gift pack completed. Dash. Hum. I go over the quests, nodding at the rewards and whatnot. Looking at the last one, I can't help but exclaim, can I claim the rewards for the completed quests now? Indeed. Here it comes Damien. 
Two quests complete. Rewards. 1200 SP. Beginner gift pack X1. Rewards sent to inventory. Sybil tells me. Then go ahead and open my inventory. I say with some excitement. Dash. Inventory. Beginner gift pack X1. Dust bunnies X7. Greater than equals equals less than greater than equals equals less than. Ignoring the latter item, I ask Sybil, claim the beginner gift pack please. Acknowledged. Congratulations, you have received the following. Map of surroundings, log pose x3, mimic fruit ability token x3, 2000 sp, 200,000. Filtered devil fruit, fruit sensor, i, skill, healing solutions x15, persona, i, skill. Many things flooded my inventory as I studied my earnings. My eyes shined at a few. Sybil, explain the ones I'm sure you know I want to be explained. Affirmative. Damien. Map of surroundings. Shows all land and sea area within 20 kilometers in all directions of the user at any given time. Mimic fruit ability token. Permanently mimics one type of support ability from any devil fruit. Cannot be used to damage or fight enemies. You must have either the fruit itself in hand or the blood of the fruit user of the desired fruit to mimic the ability. One time use. Filtered Devil Fruit, will randomize one of the three types of Devil Fruits. Can filter subsequent parameters to gain a desired type of fruit. System will generate a list of matching fruits from which the user can choose from. One time use, skill, fruit sensor, I, will alert the user if Devil Fruits are present within X meters of radius. Only displays uneaten fruits. Upgradable, skill, persona, I, changes appearance to a desired state can be seen through by certain flaws when at lower levels, can be seen through with spiritual sight, can be seen through from anyone with higher observations hockey, upgradable, dash, holy damn, that's quite the haul, Sybil, I exclaim as I go over the descriptions, congratulations Damien, I am happy for you, she said in a rather sarcastic tone, ignoring said tone, I end up thinking, the map will come in use later on, the mimic fruit ability is once again something for a later date. As for the devil fruit, why can't I choose the devil fruit type? I ask her. Another one of the petty and absurd actions by the Lord. Nanabane Sama likes to add elements of luck into his blessings. She explained without a single change in her tone. Fine, I'll choose that at a later date. As for the skills, they seem quite useful. The SP I gained. They might be of use now. Sybil. Can I use my SP to upgrade my skills? Indeed, most skills have tiers for which can increase through leveling up. These cost SP. I see. List my skills then. Will do. Skills. Disease immunity. Up arrow rapid regeneration. I increased vitality plus enhanced senses. Up arrow nature talk. I up arrow persona. I up arrow fruit sensor. I. Those marked with a up arrow are upgradable. Those marked with a plus are evolvable. Tier I to 2 upgrade cost, 100 SP. Tier 2 to 3 upgrade cost, 500 SP. Tier 3 to IV upgrade cost, 1000 SP. Dash, each skill can be upgraded a maximum of 5 times. First skill evolution requires 1000 SP and 5 times for the next evolution. The following skills have upgrades available. Rapid regeneration, I, to 2, your cells work very fast and can heal injuries vastly quicker than other humans. Upgrading will increase the speed of regeneration further. Nature talk, I, to 2, allows you to converse with nature. Nature can provide simple directions to what you seek and quick shelter when desired. Upgrading will allow you to mildly control nature to your will. Persona, I, to 2, changes appearance to a desired state can be seen through when one focuses on environmental effects or length and movement of shadow. Can be seen through from anyone with higher observations hockey. Upgrading will increase the degree of mimicking and appearance. Your heartbeat, shadow, and voice will match the person. Fruit sensor, I, to 2, will alert the user if devil fruits are present within 10 meters of radius. Only displays uneaten fruits. Upgrading will increase the radius up to 50 meters. Evolution, increased vitality to superhuman vitality, affects physical output and internal input. Increased strength and stamina, both physical and sexual, to the peak of a normal human. When upgraded it will further increase these to superhuman level. Current balance, 3200 SP. Dash dash, well damn, 
looking at the stuff available, I'd say I should worry about my current situation. Therefore I need environmental and physical advantages. I can't just let Lerone and his posse get away with what they did to mom. I make my choice. Civil. Evolve my increased vitality and upgrade my nature talk to level 3, I inform her. Acknowledged. Skill increased vitality has evolved to superhuman vitality 1000 SP deducted. Skill nature talk. I has upgraded to nature talk. 3 100 plus 500 SP deducted. Remaining balance. 1600 SP. As soon as I heard the notification I felt my body change. My strength noticeably increased, my heartbeat slowed down a bit, my body felt more comfortable. As for nature, I could hear more. The leaves, the grass, the flowers, they were all whispering, chatting among themselves. I felt like I could influence them a bit as well. Dot. Hey. Damien. How's it going pal? Sorry about your mother. I'm sure she's proud. Hang in there, young one. The sun rises, the moon hides. The sun sets, the moon appears. The day continues. Do not grow sad for another day has come. Dot. I smiled at the talking flowers and trees as I felt the rush of energy. It feels warm. The same warmth I felt when I was with mom, it's quite nice. I waved my hand and the bark that had closed around me opened once again as the morning sun shined upon my youthful face. Chapter 4 with all the things about the system settled, I recall what my mom told me about the island conditions. Flashback to eight months ago. Mom, why do all the tribesmen call me a demon? I ask my mother in a curious tone. Sigh. Well honey, our tribe is called the silver-haired tribe. We pride ourselves in our silver hair, showing our loyalty to the tribe god, Shirogumo Sama. She explains. Our tribe is one of the two present on this island. The other is the black-haired tribe. This tribe is known for its brutality and vulgarity, going against the teachings of Shirogumo Sama. Anyone with black hair is considered a demon because of something that happened 200 years ago. At the time, all inhabitants of this island were under the silver hair tribe. The tribe chief, Leonidas ruled with the help of his brother and his advisor, Leonidafu. The tribe chief was kind and forgiving, traits that the tribe advisor looked down upon. Leonidafu grew angry over his brother's demeanor and challenged the chief for his position. Winner takes all. Mom sighed and went on. Leonidafu lost and was exiled to the forest. Later, on the day the chief's wife was pregnant, while the chief was busy, Leonidafu came back and attacked. The people saw him, a man originally, with lustrous silver hair, tainted, now with creeping black. Leonidafu went on a rampage as black mist supposedly swam around his body devouring everything in its wake. He seemed to have gotten a power that absorbed all attacks but somehow he felt far more pain than he should have. He fought the chief and killed him, alongside the chief's wife. The people came together, 2,000 tribesmen died until finally, Leonidafu, too, fell. Ending the Day of the Black Dawn, and after another century came the pirates, they killed, pillaged and raped our people. They too coincidentally had black hair. They destroyed our homes and took the forbidden fruit with them. The fruit that appeared after the death of Leonidafu. The fruit we swore to protect. The previous chief, Laroya, eventually found a portion of the forest where dark energy was abundant. It seems to be where Leonidafu practiced his devil rituals. A few exiled tribesmen live there, but their hair has turned black due to the evil energy present. That side of the forest is now called the dark side. These people living there are our greatest enemies and our greatest source of shame and regret. Sigh. With all this, anyone with black hair is considered a blasphemer and demon, one destined to garner endless hate from the silver-haired tribe and Shirogumo Sama. She concludes as she shakes her head. Sounds like the Yami Yami no Mi, seems like it's no longer here though. I surmise. So how come my hair is black? Could father have been a foreigner? I ask. She smiles. You are so smart my child. And yes he was a foreigner. I found him on the edge of the island, he was wounded. At first, I was afraid but then I noticed he was only a human, not a demon. I saved him, then he saved me from wild beasts a month later. He was so gallant and strong. We fell in love. After two months his comrades came to pick him up. He said he would return one day, but he has yet to do so. Then I had you, my beautiful child. 
she says with a sad but loving smile. What was his name mom? I ask with some anger. I na d, Aries, she said. Back to present, I na d, Aries. I don't care if he's my father, his recklessness and ignorance left mom to fend for herself within such a terrible tribe. If I ever meet him, well I'll make sure to beat the crap out of him, that is if I let him live in the first place. I promise myself as I grit my teeth. Sybil, what year is it? I ask, inputting factors, planetary rotation, alignment of the moon, location of the north star, calculating and comparing to current date. It should be the year 1475, she deduced. Hmm. From what I recall, Roger was executed near the end of the year 1500, which then started the Great Age of the Pirates. I conclude while remembering the manga. Well, I guess that doesn't matter. Right now I better focus on training myself. I resolve myself. Sybil, do you have any training guides available to buy? I ask. I have done that for you. I suggest you buy Saitama's workout for 50 SP, Might Guy's youthful workout for 70 SP and most importantly, True Breathing Guide for 80 SP. Recognizing the workouts I can't help but ask. I understand the workouts but is the breathing guide that important? How do you expect to fight if you don't know how to breathe? She dropped a one-liner. The breathing styles make use of specific and concentrated breath patterns, which increase the user's lung capacity and amount of oxygen in the blood. This increase of oxygen allows the user to enhance their physical abilities and mental concentration. This is inspired by the breathing art from a different world. By achieving total concentration, constant stage, you can easily increase your strength output stamina reserves, and willpower significantly. Though this guide may destroy a normal person's lungs, as a superhuman, your body can reach this height with adequate and proper training. Though it is meant to be used with sword forms, the system has altered it to fit your physique and body type to ensure the best results. Hmm, I see, oxygen is the basic fuel for our muscles so having more in a lesser amount of time will definitely improve all my body functions. Especially if I reach it to a passive state, I nod as I understand the basics. All right Sybil, go ahead with the purchase, I order. Acknowledge. Processing purchase. Items. Saitama's workout might guy's youthful workout and true breathing guide have been purchased. 200 SP deducted. Remaining balance. 1400 SP. I then felt a rush of knowledge on the respective guide and workouts within my mind. Nodding over my newfound understanding, I go to an open field and stretch my body. With nature talk, three, I can easily ask the trees to keep an eye out for beasts or tribesmen nearby, thus making it quite safe. After my body was ready I began my training. Daily workout, 30 minutes meditation of the flow of breath. Run, 10 kilometers, handwalk 500 meters, 500 push-ups, 200 fingertip push-ups, 500 sit-ups, one leg forward hops 100 meters each side. Wall sit 5 sets for max time. Double lateral hops 100 each side. 500 punches to striking post. 500 kicks to striking post. Dash. Well, that's quite the quota to fill, better get started. I mutter in my head as I begin this chaotic workout. 10 days later, it had been a while since I started the workout. Sybil was keeping track of every representative so there was no skipping or sneaky double counts, quite painful at first but I got used to it. The rips and tears on my muscles healed overnight thanks to my superhuman vitality, so there was no need for a rest day. Also due to the perfect regeneration of said rips and tears, my youthful body also got defined quite fast so I guess that's a plus, a six pack at seven years of age, nice. Food wise I easily found enough due to the plants providing me their bodies, if that makes sense. They practically delivered themselves, asking to be eaten. A few voices rolled up. Proving my point. Damien, eat my apples, eat my apples, said an apple tree nearby. Your voice is disturbing, Bob. Damien boy, come eat these bananas, they are ripe with nutrients and electrolytes. A nearby banana tree offered. Eritilda Eritilda Damien Kuhn, eat this Oni Sans oranges instead tilde, came a rather provocative call from a large, thick orange tree with viscous juices dripping down its many oranges. So yeah, the only thing needed would be protein. Well technically I could go vegetarian, it's not hard to find protein-based plants, but I pride myself as a carnivore. Period. 
You want to know my opinion on veggies and greens. As far as I see it, plants are not food. They are what food eats. My canines are hungry and it's time to get some real food. A. N. No offense for my vegetarian, vegan readers. Guys, find me nearby animals will you? I ask my new friends. Bob. Conscience of all apple trees. Bill. Conscience of all banana trees. Josh. Conscience of all strawberry trees. Alice. Conscience of all horny orange trees. Yoda. Conscience of all blades of grass. Dash. Josh was the first to respond. Yo bro, we got a few. Shadow hairs do west. Bob followed up. I found some black toothed owls 200 meters northwest. This Oni San found a tyrannobore half a kilometer east tilde, Alice added. Some red velvet wolves 300 meters, 9 o'clock. Bill chimed in. Dash. Hum. Let's go for the red velvet wolves for now, I said as I jumped from my seated position and began. Running to their location, I was constantly working on my breathing, though it was only if I did it consciously, still far from the constant state. Three minutes later, there they are Damien, go get em, Bob said, six red velvet wolves growled as I jumped in front of them. Each was at least six feet in length, five feet from the ground up. I squinted my eyes as I got into a ready position. Though I had trained my body quite well and my strength had improved, my actual experience in battle was non-existent. Growl. A wolf leapt up with both front legs descending upon me, claws ready. I rolled to the side and dodged the attack. I picked up a wooden spear I carved a few days ago and stabbed the wolf in the side of its stomach. Rawr. It howled in pain as I dashed forward, clenched my fist and smacked it on the throat, rendering it unconscious while bleeding out. 1. The other four growled as the Alpha signaled them to attack. They came at varying speed, with wide leaps and fast claw attacks. Dodging and sidestepping while sneaking a few jabs at their weak points led them to eventually fall, defeated. That's five. The Alpha backed up a bit and rushed forward with blinding speed. Fast. I utter as the claw scratched my face before I dodged. Come, mutt. I mocked it. Growls. It slashed its claws vertically as I rained down heavy punches at every opening I could see, causing it to spit out blood. The alpha wolf was now a mess of glowing red fur with pain visible in its eyes. Rawr. It charged at a slower speed right at me. Seeing its speed I make a quick decision and gather all my power into my feet and leap up over it as it nears me. I land directly behind the mammal and grab it by the neck. Applying all my strength I squeeze my thick, callous hands as the wolf writhed in agony, gasping for breath. I then hear a rather satisfying sound. Snap. It fell dead with a broken neck. Dot. Nice work bro. Josh yelled. Reckless. You are. Concentration. You lack. Yoda finally spoke. Hush now Gigi. Come Damien Coon. Eat my oranges tilde. They shall invigorate your very soul. Alice proclaimed with great vigor. I wiped the blood off my face and quickly put down all the unconscious wolves and begin a barbecue. Chapter 5. A month swam by, I trained, trained and trained. Sybil, show me my stats please. I ask with my young voice. Coming right up. Dash. I na d. Damien. Age. 7. Height. 5 feet 4. Status. Healthy. Strength. Paradise Pirate, Level 3, Damien equals Mr. 2. Alabasta. Devil Fruit. None. Skills. Disease Immunity. Rapid Regeneration. 2. Superhuman Vitality. Enhanced Senses. Nature Talk. 3. Persona. I. Fruit Sensor. I. Concentrated Breathing. Active Mode. Points Balance. 1400 SP. Less than Quests Complete. Pending Rewards Greater Than. Dash. Strength has reached third level of the stage, not bad. I should also have some quests to claim but before that I want to do something else. I surmise, Sybil, give me your thoughts on devil fruits. I ask my trusty system. Devil fruits are normal fruits infested with devil energy, resulting in swirls and changes in color to occur on the exterior while also tainting the taste. Like I told you a few weeks ago, it's better to prepare your body first, before eating a fruit. You do not want to rely too heavily on the powers gained, but rather mix them with your physical capabilities. A scrawny whitebeard with the tremor fruit wouldn't be able to do much without an extremely durable body capable of withstanding the impulse from quakes. Now that your body is physically ready, you can get a fruit, 
though I suggest you don't let it interfere with your physical training. True, I don't want to be useless in case my fruit is suppressed or anything. Kazaru with sea stone, cuffs would be easy to take out, but if you give Garp a logia while wearing cuffs, he'd still be up as hell. I took out a little piece of paper which had a few words written on it. Filtered devil fruit, randomizes the type of fruit. Subsequent qualities of the fruit can be filtered certain parameters to gain a desired type of fruit. System will generate a list of matching fruits from which user can choose from. One time use. I grin with excitement as I rip the paper in half. A glow of white shines as a screen pops in my head. Dash. Filtered devil fruit. System will randomize between Logia, Paramesha, Zone. Dash. I know it's random, but let's see about these types. Who? Okay. Zone. Do I like the idea? Of course. It's cool. But, it's only cool if it's a mythical type. Otherwise it has too many disadvantages. Do I want mythical type? Meh, I like the phoenix so far but I prefer others. Though I may cuck Marco if I do roll a zone. Logia. Very cool but too simple. Things like magma, light and ice, all op as hell. But they are too simple and too flashy. It's cool that normal attacks go through you, but, in the new world, the benefits of elementalization are no longer relevant as the real obstacles all use hockey. To top it off, many Logia, being elements have their own weaknesses to certain elements, which can make them more of a problem than a solution. They are quite overrated. Paramesha. Since I can pick my desired qualities of fruit, this is probably the best, considering how versatile they are. My favorite fruit. Gura Gura no MI. So op. You just can't compare it to any Logia. I mean you can literally shatter the air with a punch and flip reality with the other. In general I want a highly destructive fruit. Considering Kaido and Big Mom, damage output is what I need as they can grunt off huge hits like, Kong Gun, with simple attacks. Go ahead with the randomizer. Ding. Randomizing fruit type. Opening square bracket dot 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 closing square bracket. Opening square bracket dot 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 closing square bracket. Opening square bracket dot 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 closing square bracket. Opening square bracket dot 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 closing square bracket. Opening square bracket dot 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 closing square bracket. Ding. Dot. Randomized fruit type. Paramesha. A new screen of blue followed. Dash. Please pick a subtype Paramesha. Internal augmentation type, external augmentation type, secretion type, release type, support type, disaster type, special Paramesha type. Internal augmentation type. Permanently changes internal structure of the body, rubber rubber fruit. External augmentation type can choose to change external structure of the body at any time, dice dice fruit. Secretion type, secretes a fluid from the body, wax wax fruit, venom venom fruit. Release type, releases a type of power out from the body, float float fruit, hollow hollow fruit. Support type, powers gained work to aid user or others, glare glare fruit, through through fruit, more more fruit. Disaster type, extremely destructive fruits, can cause great changes in the external environment, tremor tremor fruit. Special type, has special qualities no other type has, mochi mochi fruit, op op fruit. Dash, internal, external, support, release. I rather take a logia than these, after all I don't have to eat this fruit. Disaster seems to be what I want, special paramesha is also an option. Categories mochi fruit is practically a logia and op op fruit is just crazy. First show me the special type fruits. Ding. Dash. Special P-A-R-A-M-E-C-I-A -E -E type. Mochi Mochi Fruit. Allows the user to create, control, and transform into Mochi, closest Paramesha type fruit to a Logia, making them a Mochi human. Status. Uneaten. Dash. Op Op Fruit. Allows its user to create a spherical space or room in which the user has complete control over the placement and orientation of the objects inside making them a free modification human status eden dash soul soul fruit allows the user to freely interact with and manipulate human souls making them soul manipulating human status eden dash balance balance fruit allows user to freely switch anything of equal value this can be a physical psychological spiritual or cosmical exchange making them a mad tita cough and all conserving human status uneaten dash 
Dot. Damn. The op op fruit is already eaten. Soul went to Big Mom. Mochi is not my thing. Balance balance fruit. Exchange for anything with something of equal value. I tap my chin and think. This can be very op if used correctly. But, it only works if I have its absolutely equal in all forms. It can be very useful to support type pirates but that is not what I am. It can't be used in direct fights but rather behind the scene. I suppose it can exchange for strength and skills, but I could do that with hard work, is it worth exchanging for? I sigh and continue, looking for more, show me the disaster types then. Affirmative. Disaster type P-A-R-A-M-E-C-I-A -E -E fruits. Tornado tornado fruit. User can create tornadoes by the swing of the hand, making them a tornado human. Status. Eden. Dash. Moisture moisture fruit. Enables the user to control the moisture in the air, can cause extreme change in moisture over an extremely large area. Can cause droughts, blizzards, wildfires, extreme heat, extreme cold and more. Making them a moisture manipulating human. Status. Uneaten. Dash. Tremor tremor fruit. User can create tremors by the smashing the air through a medium, making them a tremor human. Status. Eden. Dash. Weather weather fruit. User gains full control over the weather over in large area, making them a weather human. Status. Eden. Dash. Pulverize pulverize fruit. Gives the user the ability to crush and cripple anything to everything they come in contact with into innumerable pieces through pressurization and pulverization, making them a pulverizing human. Status. Uneaten. Dash. Clank clank fruit. Allows the user to create things by combining inanimate objects at will, making them an assimilation human. Status. Eden. A. N. Bullet is canon in this fanfic by the way. Dash. Tornado. Humidity. Tremors. Weather. Pulverizing and assimilating. All of them are quite powerful but four can be crossed off. Humidity is decent but what speaks to me is the pulverizing fruit. Hmm. Sybil. Give me your thoughts on the pulverize pulverize fruit. I ask her. The fruit has various offensive and defensive properties. Using its inherent nature of being able to crush anything it comes into contact with, the user is also able to nullify the effects of fruit attacks by pulverizing them to pieces. Essentially put, you can pulverize any living or non-living things, causing them to separate into numerous cubes. By imbuing your fist with the fruit power you would also be able to send out pulverizing energy outwards. It is also capable of being fired as a burst of energy at the opponent. Destruction-wise, it is only second to the tremor fruit however it is superior over shorter distances and can easily cause mass destruction over a large area of land. The only negative is that it is difficult to control, User may accidentally destroy homes, ships and land by stepping too hard or by something as small as cracking fingers. It can also cause the body to deform due to its great destructive capabilities. The laws of physics are light in this world, but they do exist. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The law of recoil demands a strong body to be able to properly wield this fruit. Okay wow. So essentially I can crush anything to everything into small cubes, including land, attacks and living things with this fruit. A. N. Kinda like Gildarts. Magic. As a fan of the Tremor fruit, I think this is quite fitting for me and would work really well with my preference of using fist attacks over weapons. Now I do like the balance balance fruit but I think it is only useful in certain scenarios, so I could just use the mimic fruit token for it since it doesn't cause any damage to anything. Dot. I pick the pulverization pulverization fruit, I said out loud. Ding. Paramesha type devil fruit, pulverize pulverize fruit, has been moved to inventory. Hearing this, I instantly went into my inventory and brought out the fruit. The overall shape was that of a pineapple though the body was dark blue with small black swirls all over it. Unlike a pineapple, the crown on top wasn't long and rigid, but a soft and mellow green as it laid softy on the side of the fruit. A. N. Pulverization fruit image. I checked its description. Pulverize pulverize fruit, kudaku kudaku no mi. Paramesha fruit, disaster type. Fruit rating. Star. Anything to everything touched by user will be crushed into small simple cubes. User becomes a pulverizing human. Dash 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 dash. What does the fruit rating measure? I ask her. It is a number that factors in all the fruit's qualities. It's a ratio between its strengths 
weaknesses, restrictions, and difficulties. The highest rating is 7. S. The star shows half of a star. This fruit is 6.5 stars, one of the strongest fruits in existence. Hum, I see. Nodding at the description I bring it close to my mouth and take a bite. Crunch. Quote dot 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 quote. Quote dot 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 quote. This takes like shit rolled in rotten eggs topped with shredded broccoli with a side of boiled cheese. What a horrendous taste. Devil energy taints the taste. My ass, the devil literally shits these out his crack if anything. I complain. Crunch. I hold back tears as I try to swallow it as fast as I can reminding me of my past when I ate tried to swallow my vegetables as fast as possible, all the while my dad stood glaring at me. Crunch. I know you only need to take one bite to get the powers, but I am a paranoid person. The type who would triple check my alarm before sleeping and the type who would make three different backup downloads for my school presentation. Crunch. And with that, it's finally over. I sigh in relief. The fruit's details run in my head as I learn its contents and abilities. A smile breaks out as I look at my right palm. I try to channel my newfound powers as something does indeed happen. A red light shines on my hand until, boom, a rather loud explosion echoes through the quiet forest as a giant crater 100 meters wide can be seen with dust floating about. The ground seemed to have shattered into thousands of small 3-inch thick cubes, creating a giant crater. Cough cough, ouch, I did tell you it's difficult to control, Sybil interjects. Oh shut up, I throw back, Damien bro, you good, Josh yells from afar, I feel like people would ask that even if you get shot or something, you good bro. Like seriously, yeah, I'm fine, I reply as I jump back to my feet. I wonder if Whitebeard caused a mini earthquake when he tested his fruit too. Dash dash dash, F W O O O O. I concentrate on my breathing as I enter the superior breathing mode and relax my muscles and body. I inhale a crap ton of oxygen and guide it through my trachea and into my lungs. Foo. I expel the CO2 and relax my heart. Dot. I then jump back to the forest, away from the large crater nearby. I walk up to an orange tree and focus my power. Warm yet destructive and volatile energy slowly floods out of my heart as it flows through my shoulder, to my arms, and finally comes to my palm, waiting to rage outwards. Dot. Crush. Dot. I utter as my hand glows red as it touches the tree. V W O O O O O M. A quick sound of pixelation erupts as the tree turns red and separates into small red cubes until it all collapses onto the floor. Utterly pulverized. A N. Like this, but in the shape of a tree, and the cubes are a lot smaller. I can't help myself from grinning as I see the tree before me in pieces. Pieces that then flew away from the wind as the only trace of a tree ever being there was from the scars on the ground from where the roots used to be. Though my thoughts are disrupted. Yes tilde blow my insides with your energy, Damien Kuhn tilde.